Hey everyone and welcome to your daily woo. So here is some more information on Saturn and how to work with this energy. Saturn is also the planet of time. And you know, there's this whole belief that the Gregorian calendar actually works against the natural flow of what time actually is, which in many ways it's an illusion because what physics has found is that it's all happening at once, past, present, and future. So right away, I would like to introduce you guys, if you don't already know, 13moon.com, where you can start going down the wormhole that I have gone down, which is the study of the galactic calendar. That website will show you what your galactic, basically birth sign, birth information is, and also all the information about this incredible ancient knowledge. Now, when it comes to time as well, Saturn is all about how we structure our, our daily life, how we use time. So this is a great time to work on, <laughs> no pun intended, this is a great time to work on budgets, on scheduling, on really giving yourself structure. Like, you know, planning your day out in a daily planner to make sure that you are, it's like budgeting time. That's what it's like. Budgeting money, budgeting time, budgeting energy. So it's also the planet of boundaries. So this is a time where when this Mars Saturn square, we could feel like people are like bum rushing us. Like people are rushing, rushing and, and it's your job to stop and enforce that boundary. And if you see yourself doing that, like I know for me, there's times in the day as this, these aspects have been coming up where I'm like, okay, okay, I got to go. And then I stop myself and I'm like, Whoa, this is not a race. It's not a race. This is a marathon. And I had a question yesterday. This, you know, they said, somebody said that this goes on till January. And yes, this goes on till January. So it's a marathon. Now, the other thing about Saturn, it is, you know, we've just discussed it's about time, it's about maturity and sobriety. So, one of the things that we can do, remedies to mitigate this sort of explosive energy of, of Mars coming up against Saturn and restrictions is, is to get sober. And that means emotional sobriety primarily, how you handle your anger, your aggression, your frustration. How do you handle it when what you want you get, you know, how do you handle it when you get a no? And this leads me to Saturn is often the planet of no. So you may have to tell people no. People may be telling you no. You may need to be telling yourself no, and that's what sobriety is about, right? But one track of sobriety that I find fascinating is not so much in telling yourself no, but telling yourself yes, that you are worth a clear mind, that you are worth a clean and healthy body. So you're actually saying, yes, you're upgrading, you're maturing, you're adulting, you're being that, you know, the benevolent form of Saturn, which is the good father to yourself, or that elder that knows what the young ones need. So interestingly enough, this square and geopolitics can look a lot like Mars being the younger generations versus Saturn and the older generations. So you can kind of look out for that in the news through these months ahead as we lead to January. And like I said, you guys, working with this energy, it can be very lucrative. It can be so productive, but there is a stop and a start to it. But I want you to be the one who is stopping and starting and who's managing this. So scheduling, budgeting, sobriety from any sort of habits that you know take you out of the ability to be the master of yourself and your emotions and your thoughts. So even something like sugar or caffeine that pulls you out in, and you're not able to actually be sovereign and grounded and ahead of what may come because as those substances take us out of our right mind and clarity, when situations come up that may be these Mars explosive situations, then we're, we're not on two feet, you know, we're not on solid ground. So the idea is to stay on that solid ground so that whatever comes, you know, you're like a ninja with these energies. So this is Tuesday's Daily Woo. 
I'll be making a larger, longer video on Saturn, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.